The only other thing I wanted to mention about Synology is that uh, DSM 7.1, which is Disk Station Manager, the software that runs your disk stations, is, uh, well, I will say it's almost out. It has yet to show up as an automatic update for me, but you can go to their website for it, which we'll put in the show notes. You can download it. It is released, uh, and you can install it on your disk station. I installed it on, on one of mine. Jeff, you're installing you ran, you're running it on your, your, your primary disk station, yeah? I, I am. And I, I won't put beta DSM on on my Synology. Yeah. But something like this where it's out of beta, it just isn't uh showing up as an auto update. Right. Yeah. I I jump on on those because Same. Yeah. I, I, I want the latest and greatest. And um yeah, do, um I'm glad that you're going to include the link in the show notes so people know where to go and download this because it's super easy to install. I mean, uh, for, for those of you that don't know the steps, once you've downloaded the uh, the installer file, you just hop into the DSM interface and uh, and when you go into the control panel part where you where you would normally see the software updates, there's a button that says manually install and click that and then it says, okay, where's the install file, which you just downloaded. So you just point it at that. And then uh, uh, go pour yourself another cup of tea, and about ten minutes later, yeah, you have the new version. Yeah, 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 yeah. There, are, are you using any of the new features in DSM seven one yet, Jeff? Or no? Not yet. I mean, okay. I've poked around in the interface, but uh, honestly, it's been like uh, a stupid busy week, and I haven't had time to play yet. I, I, I get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I. I I, like I said, I have it on one of mine. I have I run two disk stations. One that I, I sort of consider the the backup one, but it's not. Uh, I mean, it's it's used. It's just not my main production one. Uh, but on my main one, I have not put seven one on there yet. But I have been running Syno the 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 latest versions of Synology Office and Synology Drive. Mm -hmm. uh, and that has been working out amazingly well. The the Synology office we use for one of the businesses here all day, every day. And it is super, it's a fantastic thing. My only complaint is there's no way to edit documents on mobile, which obviously is a major shortcoming, but, uh, mm -hmm. but be, beyond that, it works very well. The, the new Synology mail plus server. And I said this last week and, and I, Jeff, I'm going to rope you into this too. I've asked Pete and John uh, the same thing. Please, please try to talk me out of ever running my own mail server again. But uh, for people <laughs> who need to migrate from a no longer going to be free Google domain account, uh, Synology's new mail server has an easy importer from Google. So you could just run your own mail server, assuming your ISP will let you. Uh, and I'm I'm probably going to do it, but not with a domain that I that I rely upon, if that uh you know yeah dave i don't think you should i agree with you you're absolutely right I, you know if if that's really really where you want to go just go ahead and cut to the chase and start poking yourself in the hand with a fork <laughs> my surgeon did that earlier this week so i you know okay I'm... so so you've already experienced running your own mail server again <laughs> oh yeah and you have the bruises to show you, it you knew me like i mean you were you i think your macobserver.com mail was being hosted on the last mail server that I ran on the day that I decided I would no longer be running a mail server for the rest of my natural life. Um, yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So you, you've heard this rant before. You can remind me of how vehemently, how resolute I was in that decision. But, you know. but Dave, when you made the decision to, to move all of our TMO email addresses away from your own email server yeah the relief that i heard in your voice the joy and happiness that i heard coming from you was palpable you know the thing is you you, you never quite get the uh the, the the same surge as you get from that first hit right and so i'm thinking maybe i need to run my own mail server again for like 10 years in order <laughs> to set myself up for that same level of joy and relief. Dave, 
you'll always chase that first high. You'll <laughs> never get it again. 